We love animals. Our pets give us love and affection, and we give them a home because they're so cute. But did you know some animals have jobs? That's right, with the help of animal workers, we're able to make the world a safer, better place. Here are 14 very important animal jobs. Dog jobs. Dogs are so smart. Even though they don't have opposable thumbs, they can do a lot. Have you heard of seeing eye dogs? These are dogs that are trained to help blind and visually impaired people move around safely. These special dogs can help people who can't see do things like cross the street and do their shopping. There are training centers like the Seeing Eye program that raises dogs like German Shepherds, Labrador Retrievers, and Golden Retrievers to become Seeing Eye dogs. Through the Seeing Eye program, a dog starts training when it turns eight weeks old. This special school continues for over a year. Then the dog is ready to be matched with its blind companion. Seeing Eye dogs work for seven to nine years then retire. What a good dog! As an aside, miniature horses are also used to assist people with disabilities. Their calm nature is perfect to help humans out in time of need. Miniature horses are also a great substitute for people who are allergic to dogs. Dogs also have other special jobs. There are dogs that can detect disease in bees using their sense of smell. This is particularly helpful because we're working hard to keep bees from going extinct. Specifically, dogs can smell a deadly and extremely contagious bacterial disease called American Fowl Brood. This yellow lab is Mac, and he works for the Maryland Department of Agriculture. Mac can inspect 100 beehives in 45 minutes. This would take a human about seven and a half hours to do. Go Mac, go! Police and military forces use dogs on the job too. Dogs' great sense of smell helps them find bombs and other dangerous things. Dogs are also excellent at farm work. They love to herd sheep. Look at them go! Another superpower dogs can do is detect when a person is about to have a seizure, which is a sudden illness that causes the body to uncontrollably shake. We're not sure if dogs are able to detect this through their sense of smell or their ability to pick up on subtle changes of human behavior before a seizure occurs. Either way, this is a very special ability that helps protect us. Thanks, puppers! Plowing. Oxen and horses are to be champions for their hard work in advancing agriculture during the 18th century. A long time ago, people invented the plow, a device used to turn and break up soil. This helps plants grow. The plow is very tough for a human to push around, but it's easier for a strong ox or horse to do. So until the invention of a motorized plow, horses and oxen did the hard work of pulling plows through farmland. This helps speed up the process substantially that meant more food for everyone. Great work, team! Military Dolphins The U.S. Navy trains dolphins to detect underwater mines. Dolphins are able to easily detect mines with their special sonar ability. Sonar refers to sound navigation ranging. Because ocean waters are often murky and sound travels faster underwater, sonar is very helpful for dolphins to move around. Basically, a dolphin makes a clicking sound and waits for it to bounce off objects in the ocean. The dolphins are able to know the size and distance of an object based on the echo that bounces back to the clicking dolphin. A dolphin's sonar sense is so advanced, it can tell the difference between a BB pellet and a kernel of corn from 50 feet away. So you can imagine that a dolphin sensing an underwater mine is too easy for this special worker. How do we say thank you in dolphin? Goat caddies. Goats and other grazers are traditionally used to keep lawns short. They love to eat grass, so this is a fun job for them. Four goats in Oregon also have a very special job, working as golf caddies. At McVeigh's Gauntlet, a resort in Oregon, the hills are too steep for golf carts to navigate, so golfers are assigned a goat to be their caddy. These goats carry the golfers' clubs and drinks. The resort gives the golfers peanuts to feed the goats so they don't eat the already trimmed lawn. And in case you were wondering, these goat caddies' names are Bruce Legoat, Peanut Legoat, Roundabout Lado, and Mike LeChavon. Four Carrier Pigeons We see a lot of pigeons hanging around in cities, hoping someone will drop some french fries. But some pigeons work for their snacks. Homing pigeons have a special ability to find their way back to their nest over extremely long distances. This makes them perfect for the job of carrying messages. This is how they do it. You take a pigeon to an important place that's awaiting a big announcement. 
Once the news is ready to be delivered, the tiny but important message is attached to a pigeon's leg, and the bird is released. The pigeon will naturally and impressively find its way back to its home nest. There, the message can be collected. Carrier or messenger pigeons date back to over 3,000 years ago. Great battles have been announced by a message brought by a pigeon, like the Battle of Waterloo. I wonder if they got any medals for that. Animal actors. You probably have seen animals on movies and TV. Well, guess what? They're working. These animals have learned how to perform for the camera. This is no easy job and often takes years of training. All sorts of animals have been used for the screen, ranging from cats and dogs to orcas, lions, and tarantulas. They're all stars, but please don't ask them for their autograph. Monkey assistants. Capuchin monkeys can be used as personal assistants to people with spinal cord injuries. They can turn on appliances, pick up dropped items, dial the phone, and best of all, scratch that pesky itch that their human friend can't reach. Training these assistants takes about three to five years, but once they've learned their jobs, they can work up to 40 years. Wow, that's some serious monkey business. Ferret electricians. Ferrets are energetic, adorable pets. They're quite mischievous and seem to love to get into trouble, but maybe that's because they're bored. Some people have figured out how to give them an important job as an electrician. Well, electrician's assistant anyway. When there are cables and wires to be run through a space that is too small for humans to fit, ferrets get the job done. The human electrician can tie a cable to a ferret and send it through a tunnel to get the wires successfully through that tight spot. We can also ask ferrets to clean old dusty wires in tight spaces by attaching a sponge to their body and having the little worker run along the cables. So cute and so helpful. Canary in a coal mine. Coal mines sometimes contain high levels of carbon monoxide that is very unsafe to humans and canaries. Carbon monoxide is an odorless gas that humans cannot detect until it's too late. Oh no. However, canaries can sense carbon monoxide much earlier and show effects with their body when the levels are unsafe. So coal mine workers bring canaries down into the coal mine and keep an eye on them. When the canaries show that the carbon monoxide level is unsafe, the workers know it's time to take their canary friends and leave. Bird hunters. Hunting is not a new thing. Even prehistoric humans hunted for food. But at some point, they got some help from their feathered friends. Some birds can be used by people to hunt. These predator birds use their keen eyesight to spot prey from a far off distance. They catch their prey and then bring it back to their human companion in return for food and a nice place to live. This job is known as falconry. Evidence suggests that falconry may have begun in Mesopotamia, with the earliest accounts dating back to around 2000 BC. Birds that are well suited for falconry are golden eagles, Harris hawks, sparrow hawks, and falcons, of course, which is where we get the word falconry. Thank you for your help, big, scary, beautiful birds. Riding. You may have seen people ride horses and donkeys. You may have even ridden on a horse or donkey yourself. But what about a camel or an elephant? These animals have all proven themselves perfect for the job of helping transport humans. They are all much faster than us and can cover great distances. Depending on the animal, you might ride on their back or in a cart. Some of these animals specialize in specific climates. For instance, camels are best for riding through the desert. Thanks for the ride, buddy. TB testing. Tuberculosis is a deadly disease that is hard for humans to detect, but one special animal worker is pretty good at it. The African giant pouched rat can sniff samples and will scratch at a sample when it detects a whiff of TB. One of these rats can sniff 100 samples in 10 to 20 minutes. Testing these samples in a lab would take a human almost four days. When the rat successfully detects TB, it gets rewarded with its favorite food, avocado and banana. Great work, Dr. Rodent. The African giant pouched rats are also used to find landmines. Even though they're giant for rats, they are still too small to set off the mines, so they can get this dangerous job done faster than humans while staying safe. This job also pays in bananas. Space Cadet. Both American and Soviet scientists worked with monkeys and dogs to learn about how mammals react in space. 
The first monkey to work for the U.S. space program was Albert, a rhesus macaque monkey in 1948. His successor, Albert II, became the first primate who reached space. The first dog in space was Laika. She voyaged on the Soviet ship Sputnik II in 1957. Their hard work greatly helped advance our space program. They're all heroes. Chief Mouser. At the Prime Minister's house at Number 10 Downing Street in London, England, there is a very special and high-ranking official, the Chief Mouser. This position can only be held by a cat, and its job is to keep rodents out of the house. This is a very good job for a cat because they love to catch rodents. Though this title, Chief Mouser, became official only recently, there has been a cat working in the Prime Minister's residence since the 1500s. That was during the reign of King Henry VIII. Looks like this job is not going anywhere. So cats, put in your applications. Which animal worker is your favorite? Do you have a favorite animal actor you like to watch on the screen? Did we leave out any important animal jobs? Let us know in the comment section below. We want to know what you think. Now it's time to watch another Socratica Kids video about animals. Click on the video you want to watch next.